Hi everyone, this is Nadia. I've heard a lot about soap nuts, and many people use them as natural alternative to traditional laundry detergents or cleaners. And I decided to test them. In this video, I'll share with you my results. Soap nuts are the fruit of a tree that grows in the Himalayas. Traditionally, they've been used as an expectorant and in Ayurvedic medicine as a treatment for eczema and psoriasis. So first, you can use your soap nuts instead of laundry detergent. And that's a great option for those with sensitive skin, eczema, or any kind of allergies. Because soap nuts are so mild, they are perfect for baby clothes or clothes diapers. They are totally biodegradable and they are great for septic or gray water systems. So all you do is just place your nuts, maybe in a little bag or just the way they are, in just place them in with your clothes. And you don't have to take them out. You just use cold water for your rinse cycle. And the good thing is that you can reuse your soap nuts. And usually they last about four or five loads or maybe even longer. So here's my results. I had two stains on my shirt and they came right off. And I also had another heavy black stain that did not come off. My sports bra came out beautifully clean. No sweat stains, no dirt anywhere. Sognas did an excellent job there. So as you can see, you can use it for everyday cleaning. They are great for delicate washing but they're not really good for heavy soiled clothes and perhaps you want to soak them or pre-wash them. So the only thing is that you can use them only in hot water and they don't really work very well in cold water. So what we're doing is making a concentrate. So to make a concentrate, all you do is just place a handful or two of soap nuts in about three or four cups of water and let them simmer for about half an hour then you let them cool down and strain them and that is it and i actually love working with this concentrate because it's so versatile you can use it for washing dishes you can use it for floors shower doors glass you can use it to clean kitchen counters all kinds of things so all you can do is either use it straight or you can freeze it in ice cubes, you can add it to your laundry, you can add it an ice cube to a bucket of water when you wash the floors. You can do all kinds of things and it just makes it very convenient. So here's a recipe of an all-purpose cleaner. You take one cup of water, quarter cup of vinegar, and quarter cup of your soap nuts concentrate. If you want, you can add some tea tree oil for more antimicrobial, antiseptic, and antifungal action. So here you go, you have all natural, inexpensive, effective and totally safe for environment, all-purpose cleaner. And this is very important, especially when you clean kitchen counters where you handle foods or just having that safe cleaner makes you feel good, especially when you're trying to keep your house clean with children or animals present. This cleaner works really well in the kitchen and I just wanted to show you before and after pictures. Another thing you can do is to whip the concentrate into foam. A lot of girls actually use this as a shampoo, so all you do is you just apply the foam to your hair and leave it there for 5 minutes and then you rinse it. You just need to be careful to not get it in your eyes because it stings. And I was actually pleasantly surpri surprised that I didn't need any conditioner and my hair were clean and shiny. I've read a lot, a lot of really good reviews about using soap nuts as a shampoo and as well as some bad reviews. So I guess I would just encourage you to experiment here with a proportion of soap nuts to water when making your own concentrate. You can use it as shaving cream, it works great, it leaves your skin nice and soft. You can use the same foam as a shampoo to, for your pets, and pets and children are much more sensitive to chemicals, so soap nuts here might be something worth looking into. Have you used any soap nuts? Please share what you think about them and maybe share your experience in the comments below. 
And that is it for today's. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.